Hello and welcome on this Good Friday, 2020. Pastor John here from Pinesburg Baptist. I'm thinking today about the celebration of the cross. I've wondered, and probably you have too, all my Christian life, why the Christ of Easter, as we know it, loved me enough to cause us, years and years later, to have this celebration every year. I mean, things could have things could have been far different had not been for Adam and Eve. But God had a plan. Picture, if you will, what's happening. The baby Jesus, born at Christmas, is now grown and is known all over the world as the Savior of the world. And there was the problem. There was the problem. Not for us, but for the world. A false trial. This is happening today, years ago. A false trial begins, and Christ is brought to Pilate to be sentenced. Pilate, you know the story. He looks and looks, examines this book, examines that book, takes testimony from all the friends around, all his neighbors and all the guests in the city. And the Bible says he can find no, nothing wrong with, with Christ. So he decides to give the illustration of washing his hands. I wash my hands of the whole matter. And aren't we, think about it, aren't we still today, sadly, even in America, the greatest country in the world, trying in a different way to wash our hands of Christ? We take him out of this and take him out of that, and then we wonder why things go wrong the way they do. We fail too many times to love him like we should. We fail to pray to him like we should. We fail to read our Bibles. We get, we get too busy to do it. Too many things come into play. I mean, Jesus died for us. That's why we celebrate today. It's Good Friday. The, the least that we can do, the least that I can do, is to live for him. You say, if Pilate had ju just had enough backbone, just been man enough to turn Christ loose. No. God had a plan. About the ninth hour of this day, Oh, well, let me back up. In Matthew 27, 46, we find the heartbreaking part of the plan. It says, about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabathani, which is to say, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? As God turned his back on his son. Then comes the three words that's heard across the world. It is finished after all the torment and the torture and the pain came those three words it is finished but wait god still has a plan over all the world there's a multitude of people who don't personally know this this jesus you talk about the tragedy of tragedy of the christ the tragedy wasn't the crown of thorns on his head or carrying the cross or being nailed to the cross or be, or the cross lifted up and plunged down deep into the hole. The Bible says that, that when it hit the bottom of the hole, it, that every joint in his body came out of joint. It wasn't the vinegar to drink or the piercing of his side or even the statement, it is finished. The real tragedy is that he descended to hell, captured the keys from hell, so I wouldn't have to go there. Yet still, people in 2020 fail to accept him and take him into their heart. That's the tragedy of Easter. That's the tragedy of this day. I wonder, have you? Have you made the cross relevant in your life or a byproduct? To me, the cross is a celebration moment, but without Christ, it's a tragic moment. If you haven't accepted Christ into your heart, I beg you to do it today. Just pray, pray and ask Jesus to come into your heart. It's just that simple. And you can go to the same heaven that the thief on the cross right beside him went to. Think about that today as Good Friday winds down. And we enter Saturday and in celebration Sunday. Resurrection Day. 
think about your relationship with Christ. Make sure it's make sure it's purposeful in your life. Now until we're together again, you make it a great day. And may God bless.